All right, it's time to make a cocktail that literally nobody asked for. Probably the world's first deep fried old fashioned. This is not a thing that should exist, but for the sake of science, we must try. But first, an important announcement. My book, Cocktail Chemistry, is gonna be publishing in May, and it is beautiful. And to thank everyone who pre-orders it, my publisher is running a sweepstakes with some awesome prizes like a flavor blaster, gift cards, and signed copies. Details in the description below and at the end of this video. Okay, for those who remember my cocktail pods video, we're gonna start with a similar approach here. And we're gonna need two specialty ingredients. The first is calcium lactate gluconate, which are calcium salts that will provide calcium ions that help form a membrane, which we need to then fry the cocktail. Put that aside, now we're gonna mix up an old fashioned, but it's important that you weigh out the liquid ingredients. You'll see why shortly. I'm actually gonna make a batch of three old fashions here, so two ounces or about 240 mils of whiskey. Because we're not gonna stir this with ice, we're just gonna pre-dilute it with about three ounces or 90 mils of water. For our sweetener, we're gonna add three-fourths of an ounce or about 22 mils of simple syrup. Then hit that with about six dashes of Ango bitters and let's do another six dashes of orange bitters. Okay, now to add our calcium ions, we're gonna add 2% of the weight of the cocktail. So this cocktail weighed about 260 grams, so we're gonna add a little over five grams worth. Using a hand blender, mix all that together, and then I'm gonna use one of these little silicone bottom ice cube trays to get it in the shape of a pod. Fill this up and freeze overnight, and this will help ensure the pods retain their shape when you do the gelling process tomorrow. Because of the high alcohol percent, you want your freezer as cold as possible. All right, this next step you can also do ahead of time. You're gonna need a liter of water in a large bowl, ideally using distilled water because it won't have any calcium in it. Into that water, we're gonna add our gelling agent called sodium alginate, which is refined from seaweed and comes in a powder form. We're gonna blend in 0.5% of the weight of the water, or in this case, five grams. The water will thicken up a good amount and it's really important we get rid of all the bubbles before doing the next step. So we're gonna let it sit for at least an hour or up to 24 hours. If you need to get rid of any extra bubbles, you can use a brulee torch. All right, let's make these cocktail pods. Our old fashions are nice and frozen and we want to heat up our sodium alginate bath to 125 degrees Fahrenheit or about 52 degrees Celsius. And then you're gonna want to line up two other bowls of ice cold water. Then grab your ice cube tray and push out one of the pods into the sodium alginate bath. Put it back in the freezer. Gently stir the water with a spoon. Be careful not to touch the pod with the spoon until the membrane on the outside has formed. Once you see that membrane has formed, pick up the pod with a spoon, ideally a spherification spoon, which has these small holes. Wipe the bottom of the spoon with a paper towel and transfer it to the first cold water bath. Rinse thoroughly by stirring the water and taking care not to agitate the pods. Repeat the process with the second bath. There we have our old fashioned cocktail pods. I went ahead and made a few extra, but these things are pretty wild. You can pick them up and they should not pop. Let's see if they can withstand a deep fry. Grab some kind of pot and fill it up with a frying oil. Here I've got canola oil. We're gonna heat it up to about 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 175 degrees Celsius. Now this already is starting to feel pretty ridiculous. We're gonna follow the standard deep fry process here. Roll the cocktail pods in flour, transfer to an egg wash, and then we're gonna finish with panko breadcrumbs. All right, the moment of truth. Will it deep fry or just explode all over the place? I'm gonna drop it into the hot oil and splash a little oil on top just to make sure it is cooked all around. After about 20 seconds or so, it does appear to expand a little bit. So at that point, I decided to pull it out and place it on a towel to cool it down. All right, at this point, part of me is amazed that this is working so well. Um, I did take some inspiration from the Action Lab who used a similar process to deep fry water. So I knew it was possible, but now sitting here with a plate full of deep fried old fashions, I am beyond excited. I mean, look at these things. I debated whether or not to like season them with anything, but uh, figured let's just dive in and see how they are straight up. Brace yourself for some loud mouth sounds. explodes out. Mmm. The panko on the back end is nice. Whoa. 
feel like I want it to be cold though. It's a little weird that it's warm. These things are pretty wild. I wouldn't say they were super delicious, but it was a fun experiment. I wanna hear from you guys if you have any ideas on how you could make this pretty tasty. Again, you could do this with pretty much any cocktail. But I am beyond excited to be holding the first copy of my book, Cocktail Chemistry, The Art and Science of Drinks from Iconic TV Shows and Movies. And my publisher, Simon & Schuster, is doing a little sweepstakes for people who pre-order the book today. One winner is gonna get a signed copy of the book, a Flavor Blaster Pro Kit for making awesome smoke bubbles, $150 William Sonoma gift card, and a $100 Drizzly promotional code. One runner-up is also gonna get a signed copy of the book, a Flavor Blaster mini kit, and a $50 Drizzly promo code. And then three runner-up winners will each get a signed copy of the book. And anyone who enters according to the rules will get an early access PDF download of my clarified pina colada recipe that has been massively improved since I first made it. So proud of the book and really think you're gonna enjoy it. For all those who are gonna pre-order, see the link in the description below for details on how to enter.